So in this section we're talking about lines and one term that we use often when we talk about lines is the slope of a line. And if you think about this line here, a straight distance that goes on forever in both directions, I can describe it by talking about its slope. Lines angling in this sort of direction have a positive slope. Once they start to angle pointing up in the other direction, they're said to have what's called a negative slope. And some lines have zero slope. Some lines have no slope. Now, it's really important for you to understand the difference between a line that has no slope and a line that has zero slope. One thing that helps me is I think about walking on that slope. Can you walk on a slope of a line that has a zero slope? Yeah, you can. And as the slope increases, for example, this line here, which looks to be, if you understand anything about degrees, like a 45 degree angle, this slope has a slope of one. And as I get up here, as the slope keeps increasing, I can walk the slope, but it gets more difficult to walk that slope. What happens when the slope is here? You cannot walk it. I guess if you're Spider-Man and you have sticky feet and hands, you could. All right, so you can't walk this slope. So one way to think about it is no slope. And no slope and zero slope are different, okay? I know zero often means nothing, but you must consider that they are different. Now, when we talk about slope, we can also think about putting our slope onto a graph and using the grid to count what's called the rise over the run. Rise over run. Some of you said you had heard this before. And rise over run gives a fractional equivalent of what a slope means. So, let's take, if I have this line here, what's the rise over the run? The rise is counting up. But before you do the counting, you sort of have to make a rectangle or a triangle so that you can do the counting for the slope. So I choose here to make the triangle this way. And if I do the rise, one, two, three, four, five, the run, one, two, three, four, five. So if you want to count the rise over the run, it's 5 over 5. The run is 5 in the positive direction. The rise is 5 in the positive direction. That line has a slope of 1. Now, what happens if I decrease this slope a little bit so that now I decreased it by 2 that way? What happens this way? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, the rise is 5. And the run is 8. That line was less steep, but it has a slope. What happened? So what happens when I make the line more steep? All right, here we had our five over five, right? Let's make it a little bit steeper here. So what if I go right there and I count over five, five, let's see, let's go over one, two, three, four, five, up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up eight. Ooh, that's pretty steep. So on that time I counted my run over five, up eight. Steeper. Or more steep. All right, for the slope. So you can see if you compare these numbers, 
a steeper slope has the top number larger than the bottom number. A less steep slope has the top number smaller than the bottom number. And um, <clears throat> a slope of 1, the two numbers are the same. So you should be able to recognize the steepness or the slope by looking at that fraction that represents the slope, representing the rise over the run. Now, another thing that's really important is when you think about the slope of the line, no matter where you make your two points on your line, the slope should always come out to that same fraction. So whatever two points you pick to count to, it should always come out to the same fraction. Because remember, the line goes on forever. And since it goes on forever and doesn't change direction, the slope is a constant number. So whatever it is. And slopes this way would be negative slopes. Let's just count a negative slope. I go from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my run was negative 5. My rise, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My rise was 5. So this is negative 1 over 1. So negative slopes go in the opposite direction. And again, <clears throat> What kind of slope is this? Zero slope. What's the rise? Zero. What's the run? I could count whatever I wanted. I could count over two up none. I could count over five. Over five for the run. How many do, go up, do I go up? Zero. And zero over anything is zero. So that kind of slope is zero. What about this one? Remember I told you that was no slope? What's the, what's the rise? Well, let's say it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's say it's 5. What's the run to get to another point on this line? There's no run. I can't move either way or I'll get, I won't get to a point on that. So that's zero. And you know from algebra that when you have zero on the bottom of a fraction, it's what's called undefined. And the undefined representation in terms of slope is called no slope. So when it's no slope, you can't say zero. You can say undefined. So be careful of those little technical difficulties. I think you're good with slope now.